Wednesday wrap up, March 13th. Hey everybody, I'm Rebecca Gordon. I'm Rebecca Gordon. This is the Wednesday wrap up. Thanks for joining us as we unwrap a week in insurance. I won an insurance last week. I'm curious, how many of you think that she is Rebecca Gordon? That's the first comment I'd like to get. Do you think she is, or do you I've think I am? I've had people argue with me that I am Rebecca Gordon. Who is Rebecca Gordon? Who is Gordon? Rebecca Gordon? Please tell me in the comments, which one of us do you think is older? Don't <laughs> do that. Okay, that me I have finally taken the time, thank you, Jason Mackey, to really <laughs> delve into HSAs. Oh my God. So, a high deductible has to be a qualified high deductible major medical plan to constitute an HSA. Which is typically going to be a group plan. Typically going to be an employer group plan. Could be now. There are ACA plans that are fit the mold to be an HSA. And so you put money in to your HSA. Your accountant is advising you to max that out. Max it out. And let's say you're healthy. Right and off. now you're 65 and you are you want to keep putting it in there. So you cannot con contribute once you're on Medicare. Right. And it's not just once you're on Medicare. It's six months before you register for Medicare. And I'm talking Medicare Part A, which as you know, you don't register for Right. Okay, so if you take Social Security, you automatically get Medicare Part A at 65. And then your HSA is now... So you, you can continue to use the money. It's not use it or lose it. It's there. You can use it for your qualified medical expenses, and it's great. Now, the cool thing is, and I might have talked about this in another video, the cool thing is you can't pay your Medicare supplement premiums or your right. MedAdvantage premium, but you can reimburse yourself for Part B which is cool. You just write yourself a check that's qualified every mm -hmm. month. You can pay for your HMO premiums. And and why? Why? And why can you pay why? for your HMO premium but not your PPO premiums? I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna try not to squirt my chicken this time, but. Okay, so you can pay for your dental, vision, hearing aids, a whole lot of other great. Tons of things. That stuff you can pay for. It's not lose it, you can still use it. The, the question is, you have a highly compensated individual, typically your business owner, and he doesn't want to quit working at 65, he doesn't want Social Security at 65, and he wants to continue to contribute to his HSA, can she or he? Yes. You continue to contribute tax-free and reap all the benefits as long as you are not on Medicare. There's a jillion more things. It's an on. onion with yeah. lots and lots and lots of layers. So we did write a white paper on this. So if you want to get more information and you want to see that, uh, go to the comments and we'll send that to you. But it's a great piece. It's an onion. It's cool. And more people are working. Right. And they want they to, want to max out their Social Security and they want to max out their HSA. And that's smart. Especially right. your It's smart. Yeah. You just have to... We have to be smart enough to know how to advise. <laughs> yeah, my God. So I, I write a lot of these white papers, these articles, mm -hmm. and then I get people and I say, if you want it, email me. So people are emailing me and they're like, hey, this is Bob. Send it to me. I uh, don't know which one you what want. White paper? You want one on CARA? Do you want one on the ET3? What? Oh. I don't know. I've written a jillion of them. So please tell me exactly what you want. I'll be happy to send it to you for free. Whether comments. you work with Gordon Marketing or not, just make sure I have your email, however you're hitting me up on whatever platform, and I will send it to you. HSA is very fascinating. I'll talk another fascinating subject, but first I must drink some of my fake coffee. Oh. I'm having fake wine. <laughs> and that mm. is, I got women complaining, and we have a disproportionate share of female agents. Power to the people, right? Girl power. Boom. Uh, thank you, women agents, for complaining on behalf of your female clients that can't get female hormones. We had a bunch of people mad in the last month about Vagifem. So they're saying, this looks like discrimination to me. They're like, we can't get our hormones that we need, that our doctor prescribes, mm -hmm. and our doctor, 
our health care provider says we need. Because don't they deem it, CMS deemed it uh, dangerous. Dangerous. Right. Dangerous. Okay. But men can get Viagra. Okay, now when, in 2005, mm. when Part D came out, men were getting legit Viagra. It was on the formulary. Then people said, hey, they spent $400 million on it, and people got mad. They took it off. Then I remember some of the carriers in California, you got like two pills a month. or they, It was crazy. Anyways, so now you can't get, it's not on any formulary. However, off-label, people are getting it. <clears throat> that, that fake coffee's that fake, that fake coffee's right more fake coffee. <clears throat> so they discovered Viagra because they were trying to create a drug to treat pulmonary arterial hypertension, and they found out this unintended consequence. And then they they labeled it and they sold it for that. So now people are going to their doctor and they can't get Viagra to get their insurance company to pay for it. So they're getting their doctor to say that they need pulmonary Rivaccio, oh. Rivaccio for, for pulmonary arterial hypertension when really they're using it for a lifestyle drug. Lifestyle. I will yeah. not squeeze my chicken, I but if I was should. if it was a day I was squeezing my chicken, I would squeeze my chicken. Can I squeeze the chicken? Because the women can't get their lifestyle. Well, we say lifestyle, but the men can get theirs. So squeeze chicken. <laughs> yeah, that's a okay. That's not right. Let's talk about med subs. I love med subs. Do we have a new med sub carrier? We have a brand new med sub carrier. Sylvia, I'm glad you asked. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's do this. Um, any of the women, if or any of your clients, if you've had people All call women, in and complain women. that they can't get their female hormones, I will be happy to send you this wonderful... Recycled. Really cool. Uh, I'm a girl. What's your superpower that you could give to your daughter or son? Or, or keep it. Keep it because it's awesome. And put it in the comments if you want this. I'm a girl. So go back. Okay. Next up, who's our new carrier? We have a brand new carrier called Atlantic Coast Life. And what's really cool about them is they're awesome for call centers. So listen up, call centers, because you can do everything online. So right now, they are in Alabama, Arkansas. Colorado, Nebraska, North Carolina, Illinois, Oklahoma, Illinois. Illinois, West Virginia, and South Carolina. Indiana? Indiana's in the wings. We've got 10 other states in the wings that will be coming. Pending. Pending. Filed and pending. Filed and pending. But that's cool. Yeah, so if you need a contract, please hit your marketer up or hit in the comments if you want us to send you one. And if you are a call center, Rebecca is on a... Oh! Worldwide search for a call Worldwide center. Worldwide search. Hey, I'm talking to you, call centers. I want you. I want you to want me. I want you to, to want me. me. That's I a want song. I yeah. want you to, to want, want me. Dear I'm call centers out call there. Call me. Go, go. We need a call center. We need you to call me. We got great products designed just for call centers. Wow! Maybe we need someone else to be doing some jingles. Getting into the jingle market but there. serious, if you're a call center, we have tons of opportunities. Call us. Put it in the comments. You can reach me directly, Sylvia, directly. We are hiring. There you go. We also have some call centers that we're partnered with that would like to work with agents that want to sell in the call center model, but not be in the physical call center. Oh, fabulous. So if you want to work remotely and use their platform, so they will give you the leads, they will give you the... The system. The system, the is, scripts, yeah. everything. If you are you know, capable to be self-motivated and work that system at home in your pajamas, there's we have call centers that will hire you anywhere in the country. Depending on your level of skill, you'll have to pay for your own training to come down to the mothership to learn one to two weeks. Well worth it. You'll have to pay the investment to get trained, and right. then they will contract you and support you. So I think it's a really That's great, a great, great opportunity. That's a great opportunity. Yeah, we have two that will work people That's remote. Awesome. The other call centers we work with, they want you in the shop and they want to, you know, hold your hand. Yeah. yeah, but I think that's cool for some people that say, you know, I want to slow down and I'd like to get off the road. Or I don't live there. I don't live. I live 
the middle of nowhere. I live in the middle of nowhere. I don't want to relocate to. But a lot of agents there. are tired of driving. Heck yeah. You know, I've been trying to get Keith to work, do the call center model, just because being in a car is hard on your back, it's hard on your knees, it's gas, it's you get all the way there and they're not there. You know, you and know, it's hard on your back. You know what we're talking about. Talk about meds up. Price increases. Philadelphia American announced price increases in every state, and they are between five and eight percent. And I was like, five and eight percent. Is that a big deal? That's, that's something okay to me. Not too bad. A price increase is never good news to your clients. But so then I looked it up. So what the average price increase across the nation was, and they said eight percent for Met subs. That seemed a little high for last year. Hmm. Um, so on the internet, it's the truth. Yeah, it must be the truth. Let's talk about, oh, and that price increase average, that came from PR News. So if you want my source on that. Let's talk about something that I get a lot of questions on, and that's non-commissionable counties and non-commissionable plans. So plans are the easiest. Right. So some of the Medicare Advantage plans have plans for people that are in institutions, nursing home plans. But you can only buy it from the carrier. Agents cannot be commissioned on it. And some Easy. Agents, agents get com confused on that. Yeah, you're out. But you're not needed, wanted, commissionable. Now, let's talk about non-commissionable counties. So, so Mo asked me this last month. He's like, hey, can you give me a list of all the non-commissionable counties? I'm like, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I could. I could give it to you today, but it changes. They're always changing, and I don't think people understand that. So a carrier, they're in business to make money. That's the basic premise that everybody gets confused on. Okay? They're not out here as a charity providing service. Right. They're making money. So their actuaries will say, okay, we're going to go into New Jersey, and we want to get this much business. We don't want more risk than that. We want this much. And so if they, once they get that much, then they can say, okay, we're good. We're done. And to turn off the business, they can't pull the plan. Right. So right. they just pull the commission so you, you won't. And you can still sell it. And unfortunately, a lot of agents don't get the memo. Yeah. Because these change. And then they sell 10 cases and they're understandably furious yes. that they're not going to get paid. But that's on you. You know, you've got to realize that this happens. It's happened since MedAdvantage went national in 2005. This happens every year. They get to the point where they're like, okay, okay, we're good. We don't want any more here. Is there a time of year when the carriers will announce what plans will be non-commissionable? Or is it any time of year? Just from my experience, what I've seen is right before AEP, a mm -hmm. lot of them turn the commissions back on because they just like want to foster goodwill and they okay. want to whatever. I see that a lot. Like, hey, those are all commissionable again. Right. Cool. Love us. And then right now, right after AEP's over, after the first quarter, then they, they turn a lot off. Okay. The, the big rush, they got the big, and they just, they want to sit and manage it now. They don't, they, they have counties, they're done. Mm hmm So keep that in mind, especially for call centers, people that sell in a lot of states. Right. That you've got to know what's non-commissionable. And the carriers are sending this out to their down? They do. They send out those addendums. Yep. It's, it's all out there. It's just that I think a lot of agents don't even think about it. I right. don't think it's right. And in your, if you only sell in one state, I remember that one guy up in South Bend. He was furious because one of the carriers turned off commissions up there, and we had sent out so many emails on it. Mm. And then he called in because he was so furious he wasn't getting paid on thirty-five cases. And I was like, "All right, we've sent so many emails on this." And he goes, "Ah, oh, I don't read emails." Like, okay. Good luck. Right. I mean, you're in the wrong business. <laughs> you're not reading emails. Uh, right. I mean, yeah. I mean, can't go anywhere with that. Right. I have other agents that say, yeah, I don't read texts. And, and you can't call a lot of people because they're busy. You know, people with everybody's phones, they're just, it's harder and harder to reach people. So the non commissionable thing hits people every year. And it is, it is a shame that you did the work and you're not going to get right. paid. So then they come back and they're like, okay, okay, work with me, be, be creative here. Okay, how about if I have my right, my wife write it? And how about if I, and they, they're, they're like struggling, they're like 35 cases, they already did the math, that's the mortgage payment, right? right? And they already invested the gas and the time, the opportunity cost, so they're trying, no, you're not getting paid, I'm not getting paid, nobody's getting right. paid on it. 
We're done. So you can move the client to a different carrier and get paid if it's right for your if client. If it has to be right for the client. Yeah. Right. So that's something your marketer can help you with. Don't call me. <laughs> Don't go in my comments. That is a little bit of a nightmare because, like I said, That's it is a, a moving target. Okay, I wanted to read one joke okay. from the joke book. This is a joke book. That's the jokes, the funniest since the internet. From Reader's Digest. From Reader's Digest. I didn't even know they still made Reader's okay. Digest. If you are over 50 and you grew up reading Reader's Digest, because I read every issue of Reader's Digest my whole life, uh, and you want this brand new one with the funniest jokes, I will send it to you if you put it in the comments. I will read a joke. It said, a couple of New Jersey hunters are out in the woods when one of them falls to the ground. He doesn't seem to be breathing, and his eyes have rolled back in his head. The other guy whips out his mobile phone and calls emergency services. He gasps to the operator. I think my friend's dead. What do I do? The operator, in a soothing voice, says, just take it easy. I can help. First, let's make sure he's dead. <laughs> there is a silence and then a shot is heard a oh. guy comes back on the line okay now what oh my gosh if you would like to win this that's pretty funny just be the first to ask for it and I will send this to you that is good that's our wrap up for the week that's awesome thank you guys see Thanks you next week see ya out <laughs>